<laughs> mm. Are you ever worried it's going to go straight into your windpipe, though? That's what my mom's worried about. <laughs> This is the most fun I've ever had one of these episodes. Hey everyone, I'm Claire. We're in the BA Test Kitchen, and today we are making gourmet Oreos. A lot of you requested that we attempt Oreos, and I couldn't be happier because I love Oreos. It's very nostalgic, it's part of my childhood. There's red velvet, a mint, mint cream, jelly donut. No, no. I Seriously? Today we're definitely going to be focusing on the classic, which is really unbeatable. Two chocolate cookies sandwiched around a cream filling. They smell really good. The diameter is four and a half centimeters, and the height is a generous one centimeter. It says Oreo in the center. It's kind of ornate. That leads me to believe that they're like punched out um, using a mold or using a stamp of some kind. When you twist, you can see the cream comes off on one side of the cookie and not the other. That was the thing of like licking the cream off of one side, which is kind of gross and I'm not going to do that. So the cookie has a great snap to it. It's, it's very, very dry. The filling is pretty firm at room temperature, also an indication that there's no butter in it. It's truly one of the most perfect snack foods ever invented. If I want this to really take me back to childhood, I need milk. So I like to dunk the Oreo in and leave it there for a little while to soften. Mm. So good. And the little chaser. This this definitely brings me back. Any Oreo that doesn't have the chocolate cookie is in trouble because I think it's the bitterness of the cocoa that helps to balance out everything. I am really not looking forward to trying the jelly donut. No. Mint. I don't dislike it. Cherry cola. It has Pop Rocks in it? It's starting to pop. It's still popping. Hold on. Ooh. I wouldn't take any of these flavors over the original. Gabby, how do we make a gourmet version? I hesitate to say better than the original. I would say real ingredients. Good chocolate. It has to be that like very crunchy cookie. Mm -hmm. Is it even possible to improve on it? I feel like the cream, like what does that even taste like? It's really just like powdered sugar flavor. Well, I think I'm going to start with the cookie and get that in a good place. And then I can kind of play around with different combinations and different ingredients in the filling. Time for my favorite part besides eating them, reading off the ingredients. Here's what is in an Oreo. Unbleached and enriched flour, parentheses, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, monoxide, vitamin B1, riboflavin, brackets, vitamin B2, folic acid, closed parentheses, sugar, palm and or canola cocoa, oil, parentheses, processed with alkali, corn syrup, leavening, parentheses, baking soda and or calcium salt, phosphate, soy less and chocolate, artificial also flavor. contains wheat and soy. And that's it. I think salt is probably going to be very key. I think that salt kind of helping to balance out the sugar. Okay, we're going to go over to the computer so I can do a little research and look for mold. So that's a very good illustration of the, the pattern. Oreo cookies are popular with people that have certain dietary restrictions, such as vegans, as the cream filling does not use any animal products. Oh, wow, there's so many different varieties. Lemon ice Oreos in Japan. Japan gets all the best snack food flavors. I love this song. <laughs> oh, is that Julia White? Yeah. What a cute little kid. Oh my god. I'm going to use a recipe as my base recipe. It's a very famous recipe called World Peace Cookies by Dory Greenspan, who is an amazing cookbook author and baker. They have a very crumbly, tender texture. I think it'll be something kind of approximating the Oreo. He uses cocoa, all, all, all the right stuff. So that's where I'm going to start and kind of use that as a baseline. For the first iteration, I'm going to take all my dry ingredients, stir those together, cream together the butter, brown sugar and white sugar, salt, incorporate all the dry ingredients, roll it out into a slab, chill it, cut circles, bake them off, and we'll evaluate. Oh, a meal. Try it warm. I get very impatient. It's black cocoa. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes good. Mm, it's good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Our pr director tried to order a cookie stamp from Etsy that could be personalized. He would try to put my face on it. <laughs> but then it had to be shipped from Latvia, and at some point, I found out yesterday at 3 o'clock that it, it's not, it wasn't coming. Tastes pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. 
it's so much more balanced and has much more cocoa flavor mm -hmm. and is saltier mm -hmm. and not as oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. See how they spread a little bit? I think if I add more flour, so they'll spread less. Whatever you say, Claire. Cool. I, I really like the way so these I taste. I the sweet and salt balance. Maybe. The Oreo just tastes like kind of like unilaterally, like chocolatey. I mean, one option is doing a mix of regular Dutch cocoa and the black cocoa. It like might be more of that, Dutch like, chocolate right. flavor, you know? Totally. They're very good. Mm. Right? Basically nailed it. Right? So tomorrow I'll try again making those changes, and then we'll attempt the cream filling. Okay. It's day two for Oreo. I feel really good. I went to Michael's, which is my favorite store, and I found this which is food safe silicone putty for making your own mold. So I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna cast the mold from the actual Oreo itself. Michael's, we're accepting sponsorships. I love your store. If I may interject. <laughs> yeah. Kinda crumbly. No, so here's what we do. I watched a YouTube video. Okay. It works. So once you have a uniform color between these two, roll it into a ball. You press the putty onto the cookie. And it, it should apparently pick up like good detail. Okay. Hey Chris, guess what? Stop. It worked! Look at the definition. Yeah, look at the detail. But hold on, do you think it's cheating? Cheating? Because like we're using Oreos to make Oreos. Oh. Whatever, no one said there were Whatever. rules. I don't know that there are rules. Okay, there. good. I okay. Mean, you make your own rules. I Perfect. Make and I'm gonna go ahead and do the remainder. And now I'll pivot to making another batch of dough for the cookies. For this round, I'm going to cook the water out of the butter, up the flour, do half Dutch cocoa powder, half black cocoa. I include the vanilla this time. I think that's it. You can see the difference in color. Oh, God. Vanilla. I'll get the rest of these in the freezer and try to pop them out. Ready? Oh, my God. It looks perfect, right? That's incredible, right? Who knows what'll happen after baking? Okay, I haven't baked it yet, but get a load of this. You, I feel like you should be more surprised. Wow, I so, mean it's spot on. Yeah, I mean literally you cannot tell the difference. No. So the, these are okay. frozen, I froze okay. them just like this, got it, got it. and then I popped half out, and I'm, I'm gonna bake them and see like how that. they fare just on their own freeform and how they fare in the mold themselves. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. So I really am quite surprised at how little they spread and lost their shape. So now I'm really curious about the ones in the mold. The edges aren't as sharp, that's for sure. Definitely from a look standpoint, the freeform cookies I think are better. So it has that nice snap actually. They're so good. You don't look at these. Wait, wait. I made them. No, you did. Yeah, Chris and I made them. This? Yeah, I went to Michael's. You people accepting. don't deserve this. They're good, they're right? So good. They're, they're so, so good. Tender. They have brown oh butter God. in them. And I the baked. salt is perfect. The salt, they're yeah. Really good. For every perfect. every five episodes that I like pull my hair out, I get one of these where it's a lot easier. Whoa, Claire, <laughs> that's really good. Chocolate levels, nice. Yeah. Salt. Good nice. salt. Yeah. Very happy with the cookie. My task now is to make as many cookies as I can with the remaining dough, so that tomorrow I can move on to the filling part. Rhoda's helping me. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, Rhoda. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with the way these look. Delicious. We'll meet back here tomorrow for the filling and we're going to put together our little Oreo sandwiches. All that's left to do is work on the filling. I'm gonna use refined coconut oil and then I might cut it with a little bit of ghee. It smells really good, it smells nice and buttery. I don't want it to necessarily taste a whole lot like butter, so I can kind of work with these two um, and try different proportions, and then really just mix it with some powdered sugar. Pinch of salt. Tastes bad. I think the ghee is not really working. It's so sweet. Mm. Hey, Amiel. Is there another ingredient that I can add that will just help cut the sugar? White chocolate? That's I mean, white chocolate's kind of gross, but... What about just cocoa butter? Because white chocolate is like cocoa butter and sugar with all the cocoa solids taken right. out. But just using cocoa butter, so I'm not adding sweetness. Right. Great idea. Thanks, Emil. The fats are separating. This is a huge mess.
<laughs> Are you picking up that noise? <laughs> Looks great, actually. I'm really happy with the texture here. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like more than just a mix of fat and powdered sugar. Tastes very good. In oh, there. good. I made a little do half. Do you think you can do the, the turn, the twist? No one said at the beginning that that was <laughs> part of oh, the... Yeah. Oh, well, Did I they mean, say that? Ooh, I'm worried about the milk test. Can I get 15 seconds on the clock? Go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. My, my, heart, my heart's beating fast. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, it didn't fall apart. Mmm. Okay, I'm not worried. Mmm, it's really good. Which ones are the real Oreos, That's what Claire? That's what I'm asking you. So like obviously these are the higher profile. They're a little taller. Yeah, slightly less definition. Should I do a twist? I'm really, ner I'm, a twist? I'm really nervous about the twist. If Claire's really nervous, then we should definitely do it. <laughs> Ooh, I felt a really easy release there. Wow. Like, flavor-wise, this is just like, what are you? Mm. There's like a in, little In a good way. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. I mean, I'm eating it. I, I ate three quarters of it. That's success. Considering it's not coffee time yet, that's pretty good. <laughs> True. I feel like that was the most positive review I've elicited from you in this whole process. Chris is by far the toughest critic in the kitchen. Brian's more binary of like, you did it or you didn't do it. Chris needs all the shades of gray. We might take this upstairs. We're gonna go in uncharted territory for this series. Yeah. Can we taste them? Mmm, good. Mmm, I really like the bagel. Oh, and the filling, I need cocoa some butter. Milk right now. Thank you. Someone else wants to have milk I, with a cookie. I need I, wine. <laughs> Gabby needs red wine. <laughs> okay, one floor up. Hey, Emil. Yeah. I think it's the perfect filling texture. Mmm. Is it a good food? It's a good food. <laughs> wow. The texture of the cookie. I think it's way superior. Everybody's hard at work. Yeah. Are these ones you he, he only gets one. <laughs> yeah, these are homemade. Um, do you have like a little napkin or something? Right. I'll leave it on the boss's desk. Adam sort of famously doesn't even like sweet, so who knows if he'll even eat it. Hi. Hi. Hi Claire. Claire. You want to try the Oreo? Yeah. Absolutely. Wait, this is this a real Oreo? That's, it, these are homemade. <laughs> Can you do this with it? Does it come try it, try it, try it. <gasps> oh. I mean, like, this is really <laughs> freaking beautiful. Like, Thanks. Oh, the texture is amazing. Yeah. It's a little saltier, too. It yeah, really I put a lot of salt. <laughs> which ones are real and which ones are the ones you make? These are all homemade. Are they? Yeah. The cookie part is a little crumbly, but I think you might, that might improve it because one thing I don't like about Oreos is like I find that cookie to be like too hard. Mm -hmm. and so These it's are more soft. tender. Yeah. Um, Gary, do you want a half of an Oreo cookie? Yeah, sure. It's a it's a homemade Oreo cookie. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'll take this out. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Everyone's still here in the kitchen. It's two thirty. It's only Thursday. We didn't have to go over a weekend. I feel. Probably the best I've ever felt after taping one of these episodes. Gonna be riding high until we do the next one and all my like confidence tanks. So uh, thanks for watching. Here's how you make a gourmet Oreo. To make the cookie, sift together one cup all-purpose flour, a half a cup bread flour, three tablespoons black cocoa, two tablespoons plus one teaspoon Dutch processed cocoa, a half teaspoon kosher salt, and half teaspoon baking soda. Cook two sticks butter over medium low, stirring until butter sputters and then browns. Stir over an ice bath until butter is room temperature. Weigh out 155 grams of butter and beat along with two thirds cup granulated sugar and quarter cup light brown sugar in an electric mixer. Beat in one teaspoon vanilla, then add dry ingredients all at once. Then mix on medium until all dry ingredients are incorporated. Firmly press nine grams of dough into a homemade food grade silicone Oreo cookie mold. Freeze mold solid about 10 minutes. Pop out cookies and place on a parchment lined baking sheet. Bake cookies from frozen in a 350 oven until crisp all the way through 14 to 16 minutes. Let cool completely before 
turning over half the cookies. To make the filling, melt 50 grams refined coconut oil and 50 grams raw cocoa butter grated on the small holes of a box grater in a small saucepan over low heat. Let cool to room temperature, then combine in a medium bowl with 100 grams powdered sugar, a generous pinch of kosher salt, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. Beat with a hand mixer until smooth. Spread out filling between two layers of parchment paper to a thickness of an eighth of an inch. Chill for a few minutes, then punch out circles that are slightly smaller than the diameter of the cookies. Freeze until solid, then pop out circles and place on top of the upside down cookies. Let come back to room temperature before placing the remaining cookies over top and pressing gently to adhere. Yeah, Brad's not here today, or this whole week. Brad's missing out on Oreos. Do I just take yeah, two? Do it like 10 times. It's really good. <laughs>